Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CVP Nets video series on smart pointers and this is going to be the introduction video of smart pointers. So we'll discuss what is the actual use of the smart pointers. So this would be the theory part and we'll see this program also, okay? So the first point says that smart pointer is a class which wraps a row pointer to manage the life of the pointer. Cool, right? Okay, we'll come to that later. So second point is the most fundamental job of the smart pointer is to remove the chances of memory leak. Okay, so actually this is very important point. We use smart pointers so that accidentally we should not forget to deallocate the memory what we created in the pointer and end up having memory leak in the end. And the third point is, it makes sure that the object is deleted if it is not referenced anymore. So the first point is, it is a wrapper. So just assume that there is a class, make it a SP smart pointer, okay? And here you will have your pointer address. So let's suppose you are creating integer pointer P is equal to new integer 10. You know that you have to delete this pointer so that there won't be any memory leak. But what if you don't want to write a delete? Do one thing, wrap this pointer inside this class object. We will see that how to do all these things here. And wait a minute, this video is going to be the introduction of the smart pointer. So I will not be using unique pointer, shared pointer and weak pointer. What I'm trying to explain you is how they actually work. What is the behind the scene fundamental job of this smart pointer? And then it will be very easy for you to understand unique pointer, shared pointer and weak pointer. There is another pointer called auto pointer, but I'm not including that because it's deprecated in uh, C++ 11 and it is not there in C++ 17. So you should not use that auto pointer. So the basic funda is this. You wanted to create a pointer. You created that pointer. You wrap that pointer here in some class. And in this class destructor, you delete this pointer. I will show you how to do this. So this is the basic idea, okay? You wrap this pointer. I mean, you have to send this pointer to some class so that it can take this pointer and manage it, okay? So that's what this point was, right? A smart pointer is a class which wraps a raw pointer. So these smart pointers are nothing but a template classes or class templates and here, it says that smart pointer is a class which wraps a raw pointer to manage the lifetime of the pointer. So whatever pointer you are creating, you will send that and this one will wrap it. Okay, enough. Now let's quickly see these three points. Unique pointer is, as it says, allows only one owner of the underlying pointer. So can you see this? If you are sending this pointer to this class and with the help of this class, you can say that, okay, I want this pointer to be pointed by only one object. So only one honor should be there for this pointer. I won't allow for some other honor for this. So if that is what you want, go for unique pointer. And you cannot copy the object of the unique pointer. You can move it and take the reference, take the pointer of this unique pointer, but you cannot copy it. And that's the restriction. So your pointer will be single all the time. Second is shared pointer. This is very good pointer. I like this because it allows multiple honors of the same pointer and it uses reference count to maintain the count. And why it maintains reference count? Because it has to delete this, right? And we'll see all those things when we'll actually see the shared pointer video. And the weak pointer is actually, it is typical type of a shared pointer which doesn't count the reference. And you will see the best use of this weak pointer when there is a cyclic dependency when we use shared pointer. What happens, there is this object, this object can refer this one and this object can refer this one. So if they both are shared pointers and this is a cyclic dependency, you cannot delete either of them. So one of them can be weak pointer and you can delete them. So that's the funda actually. So don't go into much deep in that. We will have separate video for those things. So now let's look at this program. And the program is very simple. As I said, you will wrap your pointer, which is this pointer in some class. So let's assume that we are creating an integer pointer and we want to wrap it. So I just created a my integer class 
an integer pointer so this data will actually point to this p so this is how i'm passing it okay so this is a simple my int object creation so i'm creating this object here and passing this pointer in it and see i have initialized this p into this data so now this my int object is storing this address of this p not the address of this p what this p is pointing to means the address which was generated by this new integer 10 so some address was created here maybe 10,000 and inside this I initialized 10 here now this my int p means you was passing this thousand here and this thousand was initialized here okay now this my int is an object if you will apply this dereferencing operator don't tell me that it is not a pointer but still you are applying this dereferencing operator it's just that i have overloaded that pointer here so that i can apply it okay so if i'm applying it what i'm returning i'm just returning 10000 dereference here so 10000 dereferences 10 so i'll print 10 here so this is what i'm returning okay and the very important point to notice here is i have not returned delete p if this wrapping is not there then i have to write this delete p in order to remove or deallocate the memory what i was using now i'm not supposed to do that because magically it's not magic but when there is this scope over which is start here and ends here means when this main is getting over what will happen you know that if some scope goes off the local variables or the variables which was created on stack or objects created on stack will get destroyed so the type to destroy an object is its destructor will be called and can you see this delete data and here i have written to deallocate this pointer so i'm not supposed to write delete here for this okay and now you might be thinking that okay why i'm doing all this thing what is the use of this correct now let's assume that you are supposed to create maybe a uh, hundred pointers and you do not want to remember okay did you uh, delete them or not so you can make this class as a template class so that it will hold any type of data and it will be able to delete any type of data so let's suppose you have 10 character 10 float and maybe uh, 80 some other user defined data type it can handle everything for you and you do not have to remember that how many times i created my memory using new so that many time i have to delete it no don't worry you just concentrate on your coding don't worry about all these things and only this much line of code will help you greatly so now this was the introduction of how your smart pointers work so as i said there are two smart pointers sorry three smart pointers unique pointers shared pointer and another one is weak pointer we will be covering these things into detail in coming videos so i'll see you in the next videos guys take care bye bye